I'm here to tell you, I've got lots better things to do than to be laid up with a cold or flu, like making these authentic wet plate collodion ferrotype tintypes. <clears throat> now here's what you need, and you may already have this in your wet plate collodion photography kit. It's tincture of iodine. It is, it is just pure iodine dissolved in ethyl alcohol. It is used as a, an antiseptic ointment on cuts and bruises, but also it can be used in this application to prevent colds and flus. Also, um, it is used to uh, um, treat severe cases of strep throat. Uh, a doctor would paint the back of a, a person's throat that is suffering from strep coat with a long swab on a, on a long um, stick that uh, he would paint the back of their throat with tincture of iodine to kill the pathogens and germs that have built up to create strep throat. But, you know, for us, we don't want to get strep throat. We want to prevent it. We want to prevent the flu. We want to prevent the cold. We want to prevent the influenza that may break out again someday, like the one that killed 9 million people in 1919. That was nothing but a high-powered flu virus. All right? This could happen again. Be prepared. Get your bottle of tincture of iodine if you don't already have one already. I personally carry one with me everywhere I go. I also have several stashed away here and there in case I forget that I don't have it on me. You know, because if I am ever in a situation where I'm around people, there is a chance that I may come in contact with a cold and flu virus. And I want to do all I can to prevent catching colds and flu. Uh, because when I get a cold and flu, it is serious. It hits me like a ton of bricks. I'm down and out for a week sometimes, and I can't live like that on the farm when I have so many responsibilities, caring for my livestock here, etc. Keeping the fire going and the wood stove on and on. The list is on and on. So, um, iodine. You've got to have your iodine, and I'll show you how I do do my my application of it uh, to prevent uh, the colds and flu viruses from entering my respiratory system and infecting me. So it's very simple. Anybody can do it and they shouldn't be embarrassed about it because the worst embarrassment is to be sick and to, and to get others sick from your sickness. All right. So think it through. Best to do this. It's a Nothing to it. All you have to do is take your, your bottle of tincture of iodine, open it up. It has a little wand, it has a little wand on it, like that, you see. And you take that little wand, you dip it in the bottle, and you dab it under your nose like this. Breathe it in a little bit. Put it back together. Put that back in your pocket. And you're set to go. Set to go to town, go to church, go wherever, wherever people are congregating. Ride in a car full of sniffling children, what have you. Teach school. You're set. And if you feel as though you need to, to dose up a little more as the day goes on, you're around a lot of people, do not feel embarrassed, it won't hurt you, there's nothing that's going to hurt you with this. And, and, and again, all you need to do is reach in your pocket, get your little bottle of iodine, and come right back at it, and zip zip, you're set. Those flus and cold viruses are going to be knocked right out of the air and lose all uh, their ability to get you sick and miserable. How many people are using tincture of iodine to, to prevent cold and flu? Besides me, very few. No more than what I can count on my hands. But 
They all report back to me that it's working wonderfully. Can you find anybody on the internet? Today it seems like to be relevant, it has to be on the internet. Well, this particular way of preventing colds and flu is nowhere to be found on the internet. Do I have any endorsements for what I'm telling you about tincture of iodine for cold prevention? Are there any famous PhDs or movie stars or sports stars that, that are using iodine to prevent colds and flu? Not that I know of. This is something new. Everything starts from somewhere, from one individual's idea and grows, and can grow. When it's a good idea, it will grow, and this is a good idea. This works, thoroughly works. I have a few friends that have embraced it, and they swear by it, and from there, we we'll hope others will catch on. I have it described in my Wet Play Collodion Photography Manual in the addendum section. Um, I believe in it to that point where I, I stand behind it 100%. And like I've said many times in this video, it will not hurt you. Iodine will not hurt your healthy cells and tissue. It only wants to knock out pathogens and viruses that are detrimental to your health. It is a miracle substance. Now, if you feel a little bit embarrassed about taking the bottle and the wand and putting it under the base of your nose and dabbing under your nose. What you can do, and what I do sometimes, um, you know, if I'm in with a crowd of people and I've, I might feel a little self-conscious about doing that, I'll put a little bit of iodine on my handkerchief, like this, just a little hank on my hanky in my pocket, and there's nothing, nobody's going to feel you're, you're out of, uh, you know, kilter or a little weird for taking your handkerchief out of your pocket and breathing through it. Like that, wipe it. And, and there again, you're getting the iodine vapors into your system, into your lungs, and where it will linger and be there to stop and kill any cold and flu viruses that may float in into your respiratory system from whoever may be around you that has the flus and cold virus. Um, in their exhaled breath. It doesn't, they do not have to cough on you. They do not have to sneeze on you. All it takes is somebody near you that's coming down with the cold and flu, breathing in your direction. You know, someone coming up to you, shaking your hand and saying, how you doing today? Those viruses are gonna be sprayed all over you like a squadron of Jap Zeros coming in on you and you need to have the ACK ACK and the, and the fighter jets and planes to, to knock them out of the sky before they can bore into your system and get you sicker than sick. All right? This is so important. This is so simple uh, and, and at the same time extremely important. There are millions of people every year that come down with the cold and the flu. There's just untold uh, a loss in work time, uh, productivity, et cetera, et cetera. And not only that, there's a lot of people that get so sick from the colds or the flu, especially, that they get pneumonia and they die. There are thousands that die every year um, from complications of the cold or flu uh, by way of pneumonia, all right? So there's no reason why you, you you should not feel embarrassed whatsoever to make an effort to be proactive about preventing colds and flu. Um, it's only fair to your neighbors as, as well as to yourself to do all you can to prevent colds and flu. And the iodine is super effective, super effective. Flu, the flu virus, the flu, uh, um, shots, the flu immunization shots, even the CDC will tell you that they're only at best 40% effective. 40%! That is pitiful. 
pitiful, only 40% effective at best. And they also will tell you that the, 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 uh, the vaccines that are prepared by the end of the flu season don't even cover the, the flu viruses that have mutated during the, the middle of the season become a different strain. So it's up to you, it's up to me, it's up to anybody that, that wants to get serious about this, take control of their own destiny in life. For those that are worried about possibly the reddish stain that the tincture of iodine uh, can put on you, um, it, it does do that, but only uh, very temporarily. Iodine loves to vaporize. Uh, so. If you dab the iodine under the base of your nose, like I do, it will have a slight yellowish red stain there, but only for a matter of minutes, and then it'll be gone. Because iodine loves to vaporize, and that's what you want. You want it to vaporize and be flowing, the iodine atoms flowing into your lungs to act as a barrier and um, a uh, lethal uh, reception committee for those cold and flu viruses that are almost everywhere when you get into a crowd of people. Just how safe is the tincture of iodine? Well, as long as you don't guzzle it, drink it down by the bucket full, you'll be fine. Just like Listerine mouthwash. Gargle with it, but don't swallow it. Iodine, wick it under your nose, put it on a handkerchief, breathe it through the handkerchief, put it on your hands, what have you. It will not harm you. Just don't drink it. Just like so many chemicals we use in wet plate photography. Use them as they're supposed to be used. Don't drink them, and everything will just be fine. All right? So... You have nothing to worry about uh, as far as toxicity of tincture of iodine. And I've asked more than one uh, medical doctor um, if it would hurt you to do exactly what I do to prevent colds. And every one of them has told me that it shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. And actually that it sounded like a pretty good idea. Why they don't prescribe it, I don't know, like I said. Big Farmy has a lot to say about what people think and do in this country. And iodine applied as I apply it to prevent colds and flu would, get, would cause them to lose billions in revenue. So, resist. Resist Big Farmy, prevent colds, flu, and have a happy, productive life.